Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool researching hack that I kind of fell upon when I was recording another video for you guys. This is a product research hack. It's, this is really awesome if you are in a saturated niche and you don't know how to differentiate yourself. Um, the best way to figure out how to differentiate yourself and be better than your competition is to ask customers. And of course, it's kind of hard to ask. Um, so you're going to use AI. I'm going to show you how to do it to help you spy, uh, spy on what your competitors, customers are saying. So then you could improve on your product. Again, you should be using this if you're in a saturated market, but even if you're not, I still recommend doing it because you may come across something that will help improve your product. Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. Make sure you watch till the end, okay? Because there are two things I want to show you, okay? You're going to love it. Um, so let's share a screen here. Okay, guys. So first and foremost, let's assume you are... And I'm trying to use a different type of product, okay? Because I always use the same types. So imagine you sell hand-poured soy candles. This this is being sold by one of our members in our group, Facebook group, uh, link down below. And I want to get some more examples. So I asked the group, hey, what do you guys sell? So I could use an example. So that's what I picked for today. So let's do hand poured soy candles. I'm not sure if I should be caring about writing hand poured, but I'm going to write it. Let me move the slight source here. Okay. Did that even make it worse? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So I got it here. We see that there's 51,000 results, but here's the kicker. You might say, Dahlia, first glance, this is not really saturated, but unfortunately for the candle community, it does look like all the same thing, somewhat, right? It's, like, it's a jar, okay? So I want you to consider that sometimes it was such a simple type of product, not so simple, right? But at first glance, it could appear saturated. So here we are. Um, the idea here is to go into the best sellers and grab their reviews and have chat GP, sorry, chat GPT. I can't speak today. Um, analyze it. Okay. GPT. Okay. Whatever. Anyway. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to do it with you. So you exactly know how to do it. So not everything that's a bestseller will show bestseller. Just FYI, sometimes Etsy's pick or popular now are bestsellers too. So let's go into here. And it, did it open? Yes, it opened in a new tab. You'll see it on reviews for this item. That's what you're looking for, reviews for this item. This is a great example. Let's do this one together. This next part is really annoying. Um, and you're essentially copying and pasting all the reviews into a document, do it in a document. So I have a document up here. I typed in um, uh, docs.new, is that what it is? Docs.new, yeah. And it comes into a new document, okay? Simple, you could title it if you want, so you can reference it later. Um, actually, I encourage that. So you're gonna write in. Okay, I, I can't type here. My computer's going slow. Oh, cause I'm exporting something. All right, uh, soy handle reviews. Okay, cause you might wanna reference this later for whatever reason, trust me. All right, so now let's start grabbing these reviews. It's really simple. Copy, control C, paste. There it is. Sorry, I'm like, my computer again is going slow because I'm exporting something which is about to finish. So that's awesome. All right, next page. So, so here's the thing, you don't need all 685 pages. One, because chat GPT won't analyze it all, it's just way too much. There is a character limit but um, that'll just take too too long, in my opinion. It's still worth the time. Don't say that this is not worth the time because you heard me say that. I want you to do this for several products. I'm just only show it to you for one. And I'll show you what ChatGPT with the correct prompt will give you, which is really exciting. Hopefully it works out in this example I'm showing you. I don't like to, you know, free, you know, plan everything I'm doing for you guys. I just don't have that type of time. Okay, so let's copy. Even if you grab a name on the bottom, the numbers, it doesn't matter. Just 
ChatGPT knows when to ignore what when it's trying to analyze reviews, okay? I'm just gonna get a few more pages. I encourage you, I don't know, depending on what you see here, sometimes you could tell that there's some really good reviews in terms of how much text people are writing. If not, you have to grab quite a bit. If so, I don't know, 10 or so, I don't know, let's do 10 together. 10 pages meaning, okay? I always hit enter after just so it doesn't connect to the last word of the last review. Okay. By the way, sometimes you may not receive mind blowing, you know, insight once you do this. Sometimes you'll see things that are obvious. If you're new to selling online, some of this may not be obvious to you, okay? But that's why I have one more trick I'm going to show you toward the middle of this video once I'm done. I'm at nine pages. Now I'm going to do 10 pages. Okay. And this is kind of like repetitive. Maybe I'll do a couple more. Hold on. Oh, this is nothing. <laughs> this is nothing. Oh, it's funny. Look how, look how interesting, guys. Etsy appears to have sorted it by suggestion suggested, which means they're actually putting typed out reviews first. That's smart. I love that. I love that we kept it by suggested. Okay. I got enough. Now I have all this, this might be too much, but let's cut, uh, control a grabs it all and then control C. Now here's the chat GPT prompt. I'll put this prompt down below so you can copy and paste it on your own in the description. Okay. I'll have it down below in the description. It says, I am going to give you a list of Etsy, re Etsy reviews for a product of my competitor. I sell a similar product and I need help analyzing these reviews to find out what this seller is doing right that customers like and what the seller is doing wrong with this product. Please analyze these Etsy reviews and in a chart format, please tell me what the review mentions and in the next column, tell me some suggestions on how I could make my product better. And then it says, we both sell blank. You have to fill in the blank. Uh, we both sell hand poured soy candles. Okay. Then I hit shift enter because I don't want to submit it just so I could go to the next line. And then I write uh, reviews and I hit semicolon or whatever. And then I hit paste. I'm gonna hit control A to grab it all and hit copy just in case it has an arrow and it submits. Okay, it's not it's not too much text. So that worked out beautifully. Okay, now the output is while it's going around and, and giving me the and, and you know the data, I use chat GPT4. You could use chat GPT 3.5. It's not always consistent. It may not give it to you in a chart, it may just list it out. That's fine as well. Sometimes chat GPT4 is a little bit more thorough. Just do what you want, but chat GPT 4 costs money, $20 a month for me and how often I use it. It's worth it for me. And the things that I do, I do way more than you guys can imagine, like outside of product stuff. Um, I do a lot of SEO stuff, blogging, like I do a lot of stuff. So I still think it's probably worth it. Even if you're a product seller, especially if you are subscribed to my channel, make sure, make sure you subscribe because I will be doing a lot of AI content as I am obsessed with it. Okay, it has helped me and my workflow tremendously. Okay, let's see what it's come up with, okay? Um, so I had it analyzed and it first says, the review mentions amazing scents. So suggestions from my product is make sure your candles have strong appealing scents. Consider offering a variety of scents so customers can find their favorite. I like that. I mean, that seems like it's like obvious, but I bought a few candles from people but the scent wasn't as strong. And believe it or not, they were not aware. You might say, that, that's stupid. That's stupid. No, I'm telling you. So I think on top of this suggestion, you have to use your brain and say, okay, how to take it a step further. The step further is simply, how about you offer it to one of your friends or family members that you know they tell the truth all the time, that they have no problem sharing the truth. So then you could understand. And here's, here's the thing, I'm not a candle maker. Is it the amount of scent you put in? Is it the quality? I have no idea, but consider that. Okay, cute appearance. This is a big one for me. I want my candles in the house to be look a certain way. 
but it says pay attention to the design aesthetic of your candles. Consider offering customization options such as personalized labels, etc. This is really smart. I'm sure if you do product research in candles, people do want fun sayings. People do want um, certain colors um, and, and things of the sort. Okay, especially for gift giving, I think that's really smart. And of course, people mention it in their reviews, so that's really important to them. Fast shipping, ensure a quick and reliable delivery service. Consider offering free shipping if possible. Um, I'm assuming because it mentioned free shipping. Um, obviously, I know some of you guys hate that, whatever, take what you will from this. But um, ensuring quick and reliable delivery, so people love it, people love it. I don't wanna hear from you that, oh, people think we're Amazon, I get it. If you're not Amazon, I get it, right? But the reality is, People want their stuff. And so you have to try to beat your competitor. That's the point of this exercise. Try to beat your competitor, okay? Um, and then of course, well package. Ensure your candles are packaged securely and attractively. By the way, this is a very big deal because you're sending what's typically glass jars. People do, are concerned with that. When, the, when they receive it, I assume you would replace it if it arrives damaged, but they don't want to deal with that nonsense. Make sure it's well packaged, especially the unboxing, unboxing experience is really nice. For a beautiful product. Um, I think this is really important as well. Again, you might say, Dai, this is all obvious, but please don't, um, don't take for granted these suggestions. Make sure, score yourself from one to 10, one to five, whatever, from all of these things, how are you doing? Okay, it's a really good exercise for you guys. By the way, I do this for myself, okay? I score myself on certain things and see how I can improve. And you won't believe in the many years how I improved over time. Okay, please, if you take anything from this video, take that. Don't assume and take it for granted that you think you're doing it right. But assume how could you do it better, okay? So personalization, offer personalization options for your candles, such as custom labels, colors. That kind of references a cute appearance, but yes. Um, suitable for gifting. Position your candles as great gifts for a variety of occasions, Mother's Day, Father's Day, et cetera. And I think this is really smart, offering gift wrapping, et cetera, because candles are huge gift giving options such as mugs. And so as you offer gift wrapping, et cetera, and if you offer personalization that really work well for Mother's Day, bridesmaids, et cetera, that's really smart. So that's this is about product offering, but it helps improve your product, not itself, but your line, which is really important. People like that, okay? Uh, used for company events, target corporate uh, customers who might want to purchase your candles in bulk, okay. So again, it may not be specific to a product and how to improve that one product, but your product line, which leaves a really great impression on customers, improves your brand, et cetera. Uh, size of candle, offer a variety of sizes. I think what's important about this one, um, some customers may want larger candles, et cetera. Some people don't understand if they're getting a four ounce, an eight ounce, whatever, what that actually ends up being in person. So, you know, you making sure that you have a really good size reference um, in your photos is really important if you take this in consideration. Pricing, keep your pricing competitive, okay? Errors on candles, ensure quality control. Uh, process are in place to avoid errors, especially on personalized items. Hmm. Communication with seller, provide excellent customer service, provide, respond promptly, okay? This is just, this is just smart. Sometimes you guys watch those videos and you're like, okay, what else am I going to learn new that can reinvent the wheel? It doesn't always have to involve reinventing the wheel, okay? It's taking what has always worked and really diving deep in it. This is um, out of the many reasons, but one of the reasons why we continuously improve on our product um, and do very well, even though I have many competitors, is because I, I dive deep on the, the basics, okay? More about that in another video probably, okay? Anyway, so you keep going, right? So this is really cool because, um, like I said, you could have some insight that you didn't think of. You could do this on several products. I would take this, I would highlight this, okay? Save it in your Google Doc. I mean, this is, save, save this, okay? Save this. You paste it. I don't like that it copied it that way. Hold on a second. You could, you could remove the formatting. Format. How do you remove format, clear formatting? Okay, oh, it's still a crazy background. Hold on a second, because <clears throat> I can't read it like that. Uh, in color black and then background color none. It still didn't work, but fine, whatever. We'll make the ink color white, <laughs> just so you could read it. 
I'm sure there's a way to copy it properly that I didn't do. Okay, fair enough. So you could save it in your document. You could reference it later. Okay, so let's move on. Let's do the next thing I was going to show you that will help you analyze your competitors so you can improve on your product, your experience, your product line, et cetera, okay? Using the exact same product type, hand-poured soy candles, I am going to now, let's open a new document. Okay, docs.new. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do soy candle descriptions. Now, by the way, not every seller does great descriptions, okay? But it will tell us a lot that we need to know. Okay, this is this is intense here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna just copy. Oh wait, I'm gonna copy it actually all the way up to here. This is irrelevant, but it includes returns exchanges, policy, you know, when it will arrive, all that stuff, okay? Hold on. This is quite a bit to copy, so please bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna copy up to here. Hit copy, I'm gonna paste. Okay, hit enter, I'm gonna grab somebody else's um, product again, bestseller because they're doing something right. Um, let's type in. I just hit Control F to find bestseller. Bestseller on Etsy. They put it as one word. This custom tech. Wow, look at that video. Hmm. Okay, that was nice. Okay. Oh, I should have also copied that this personaliz personalization section. Okay. Hold on a second. Where's the description? Ah, should have copied that, but it's okay. Let's stick to the description only. Let's do that. Come on. I'm going to start from the bottom. Okay, this one's not very long. Can you please? Ah, oh, there it is. Look how nice the description is. Here's the thing. We're, we're not copying the description to see why the this person sells better in terms of maybe they have a better looking description. No, it's, it's the best place to find features and benefits of a product. Okay. Pasty paste. I think this may be a lot. Let's, let's highlight it all. Hit copy. I'm going to just add a new chat and see if it I'm just going to paste it in, see if it allows it. Okay, it allows it. So I'm gonna stop generating and I'm gonna get one more. Make sure you don't get it from the same buyer, same ugh, same buyer, the same seller, cause they're gonna have the same exact, like, you know, setups for, this is cool, for descriptions and you want, you want different ones to see what, all the best sellers are doing, by the way, you could do this in sections. You could do three at a time, two at a time, send it, get info, send it, get info. Because again, chat, chat GPT <laughs> limits you on how much characters you can send in. Send, send in. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. This is, ooh, what's going on here? Okay. Well, clearly... And this may have been done for SEO purposes because now Etsy cares about descriptions, but it's it's certainly telling of what we could do to improve our descriptions. Uh, sorry, our product. Okay, this may be a little too much. Let's let's see. Highlight, copy. Let's see if it accepts this one. I doubt it. Did it work? Okay, it worked. All right, now having said that, let's look at our next prompt I'm gonna show you, okay? Now that we have our little doc, this is the next prompt and I'm gonna put it down in the description below. I am going to give you a list of Etsy product descriptions for a product of my competitor. I sell a similar product and need help analyzing these descriptions to find out what this product offers. Um, I'm gonna, Adjust that. Product offers 
in terms of features and benefits. Then based on your knowledge of this type of product and target market, wait, then based on your knowledge of, of these descriptions of this type of product and target market, please analyze them in a chart format with the product feature benefit slash benefit in one column and one column comma. And in the next column, please tell me a suggestion on how I can improve my product and make it better than what they are offering. We both sell hand poured soy candles. Okay. I hit semicolon. I grab all my stuff from here. Hit paste. Hit send. Okay. It's too much. Here's why it's too much because I had text in the beginning. Do you remember? Let me go back and highlight it all. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Because I don't do this prior, I don't know, you know what's going to happen. Okay, let's start a new chat. I just copied it, paste. I'm going to remove some things from here. That will help like BS stuff, you know, that, that will help reduce the characters. Thanks for shopping with us. I think even spaces and these little stars take up a lot. That should be enough, but just in case. Okay, I'm gonna hit Control A, grab it, Control C, I copied it. I'm going to uh, chat GPT-4 and hitting enter. Ah, it didn't let me. Okay, clearly I think, why did it let me do the other one? Maybe it lets me on ChatGPT 3.5. Let's try this. Let's try this. Hold on, guys. Okay, it let me on 3.5, but it didn't let me on four. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay. Um, it's obviously faster, but sometimes it's not as thorough. But nonetheless, you get the point. So again, we're analyzing the descriptions to see, okay, from the descriptions. Like from what the seller says about their product, what can we do to improve? All right, handmade. So emphasizes unique handmade details or techniques. Some of this is like, nah, duh, right? Wax type is soy. Okay, great. Obviously that's what we're selling, soy. Uh, personalize the label since each candle is custom made. Offers, uh, so this is the feature of product benefit. And of course, the uh, improvement suggestion is offer additional customization options. Okay, we already got that from the previous reviews. Remember the analyzing reviews? Ships quickly, offers expedited shipping options for customers who need that. So you need it sooner. So if you don't have the option, very important to do so. Um, the feature product benefits says, says, I love you, miss you, happy birthday, congratulations. Okay, expand the range of occasions or sentiments that customers can choose from when personalizing a candle label, smart. A great gift for mom or dad, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then it says to improve the suggestion is highlight the versatility of your candles for gift, various occasions. By the way, I think that's smart. I think putting it in the description is fine, but I think highlighting it in the pictures and SEO, another video for that, is super important. This is gold, okay? Because sometimes people search for candles based on the occasion, based on the person they're gifting it to, okay? Whether the person identifies as a mom, you know, as a friend, um, as a brother, right? Um, cause sometimes we, that's how we search. We're like, Oh, gift for brother, gift for husband. That's, that's their identity. Um, or for an occasion, right? Um, gift, uh, for father's day gift for this, whatever, get it right. Announcing a wedding date or a ba oh, smart baby shower. So offering special customization options for wedding and baby showers. And, and this, here's the thing, this can give me improvements on the product itself. And sometimes it give you improvements on your product line, 
Okay. Um, sometimes you can even change what you're writing to chat GPT and say, please only give me improvements on the product, you know, features itself, or I, I don't know exactly how to word it, but you can still go through this and find it because it's still going to be in here. For example, here it says, um, various fragrance descriptions. So expand your range of fragrances options to include unique or trending scents. So hold on a second. Oh yes, you could pick your scent. Oh, warm apple pie. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Back to what I was saying. Um, bah, 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 bah. Width, three inches, height, three and a half, volume, nine fluid ounces. Consider offering larger sizes of different shapes of candle containers to provide more options for customers. That's smart. There's somebody um, I know, I know of, I don't know them, that does candles and they do it in unusual shapes and it really is a great decor piece that again not only will this give you insight and you can write them down black and white but sometimes you use your own brain and sometimes it will some things will click for you you guys are all smart okay and sometimes more than others right sometimes i'm like i have a moment sometimes i don't sometimes you'll think of something you're like oh my god that's genius i love that this helps you with those aha moments okay gift box packaging. Again, this, this has referenced some things we already talked about, but nonetheless, oh, 40 to 45 hour burn time, conduct tests or experiments, extend the burn time of your candles and promote longer lasting candles. That's so smart. And I don't know how candles work. I don't know anything about that, but I do want my candles to last long. Granted, uh, you want people to keep buying your candles, but they will and they will gift them as to friends. They'll put them around the house. Trust me. Okay, so you get the point, right? You can continue and, oh, look at this. So smart. This one has analyzed. It has Macintosh apple, cranberry, chutney, winter. What, oh my God. I just like, oh, right now I'm just like, ah, I love that. <laughs> and it says the suggestion is introduce additional apple and spice inspired scents that are popular during the fall and winter season. Smart. Write that down. But not only that, you could then say, oh my God, what other scents, and you probably already know this is a candles, you know, maker, but what other scents do people want based on season, based on occasion, based on whatever? And you can even ask ChatGPT, right? You, you could do some research. Um, I always thank it because I'm, I know it's a robot, but that's what I do, okay? Uh, thanks for a great list it helps me kind of end one thing and start another almost um but thanks for the great list can you give me a list of um seasons holidays and occasions in a chart format and in the next column give me potential sense that go well with it. And in, I just saw this on top of my head right now. In the last column, tell me why you think that scent goes with that uh, season slash holiday slash occasion. Please um, create a thorough, oh, let's, let's do a comprehensive list in a chart format. I'm going to copy A and hit copy. So if it, I might want to have ChatGPT4 tell me that. And right now it's like thinking. Um, but do you see what I just did there? Sometimes when you think of an aha moment, you could... You could, you could have AI, I'm gonna keep calling it AI because I can't say chat GPT today, help you take what's in your brain and help you kind of like add on to it. I don't know if that made sense. Okay, let's see what it tells me. Whoa, I love it. And by the way, great list. However, I'm gonna ask it any more question mark and give it time to think. It usually has more for quite a bit of time. You could keep asking it any more like if it gives you a really great output. Um, and you'll know when you've 
that you need to stop asking it when it starts to become like really exhaustive you're like all right now you're stretching it now you're you're you know okay let's let's look at it um spring lavender rose jasmine very smart if you're releasing collections throughout the year sometimes you could combine them love this so much these four scents evoke their freshness and blooming of springtime guys this is a gold mine okay and i know i just did the example of soy candles but this idea can be applied to everything you sell okay look at baby shower pa baby powder oh my god fresh linen soft oh my god yeah and, and, and sometimes you probably thought of yourself fair but sometimes it just helps you and and, and look at this this additional one uh easter of course fresh cut grass oh my god marshmallow am i <laughs> i know sometimes i have in a very exaggerated nature when i talk to you guys but this is smart. Romantic date night. By the way, this is really great for like anniversary, whatever, right? Um, rose a gift, right? For first date. I don't know. Dark chocolate, champagne. Oh my God, I'm flipping out. Now, I don't know if these, these scents are, exist in the candle world. I'm sure they do. Oh my God. Graduation. Capping gown. You might say, excuse me. How does that smell? It has a smell. Like money has a smell. Cash has a smell. That has a smell. But guys, this is fantastic. And even if you're like, okay, but I wanted to really release a collection for summertime. I'm sure this summer here. Yeah, summer camp. Okay. Or something that was not on this list. You could ask it. You could say, hey, hey, these are great. What about potential scent? Sometimes if you write incorrect, like if you don't spell things correctly, it understands. What about potential scents for... Do they have like bridesmaids? Let's do bridesmaids. Uh, wrong. Gift for bridesmaids or bridesmaids. That's very particular. Like, what would I give them? Gift for bridesmaids. Um, and the reasons why that scent works. Sometimes you have to write thoroughly for AI because it just gives you better output. All right, let's see what it tells me for that, and then we'll end this video. Hold on, Rose, Lavender vanilla okay kind of boring but maybe not i'm not in that business um i'm gonna tell it something really funny before i end this thing these are very basic and expected give me more unique options for my bridesmaids or for bridesmaids um that um, it will, I want to write something else, but I'm trying to think of the word. Give me more unique options for my bridesmaids. That seems unexpected. Well, I already wrote that earlier, but unexpected yet fitting. Enter. Let's see what happens. Certainly here's some more unique scent options for bridesmaids. Okay. Blackberry sage. Hmm. Okay, I think it's just thinking of ideas for me. <laughs> I guess the first one worked, but you get the point, right? Amber moss, white tea and fig. It's, it's very, um, yeah, very classy. All right, so you get the point, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to share with you how do you use AI to help you analyze data that will then in turn help you build a better product, build a better brand. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more scenarios where this, you know, we could use AI to analyze things, but I just want to show you this one thing using AI to analyze reviews to improve your product, as well as descriptions. Don't forget that to improve your product. Okay. And of course you can continue following up with AI and ask additional questions like I did here and either in either the description portion, like we just did or the, the review portion. Okay. Um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, subscribe, like, uh, comment below. Love to hear if you guys really like this type of content. Um, what else do you want to see? I appreciate it. Bye.